Want some Maniac for Brick swag in your life? Then check out my Teespring store with the link in the description below or on the screen right now. So you can check out the latest of merch in all different designs and different colors. All the support will go back into the channel to make some more awesome videos for you guys. Thank you very much and enjoy the video. Hello everybody, this is Maniac for Bricks and I'm here today with the Lego Statue of Liberty mock. I don't know if it really counts as a mock though. Because it's not my own creation. I did not create this at all. In fact, there's a little story behind why I have this and sometimes floats around in the LEGO room. I was visiting a LEGO store one day getting a lot of pick-a-brick cup pieces. And I happened to find this near the register. Or rather, a model like this. I decided to try to build it because somebody who worked at the LEGO store I went to, actually made this out of pick a brick parts, and I wanted to see if I could do the same. I thought it was a neat little model. This was before the Architecture 1 came out, but I think it was still known who was going to come out, and I thought, eh, I, I, th I like it. I think it might work somewhere, or it just might be a nice little display piece. So I asked the employees if I could um, try to recreate that model, like actually move it, try to find the pieces in the pick a brick wall, and they're like, yeah, sure, no problem. Um, one thing I learned from that was the parts at that time were not all available on the pick a brick wall. I think it was mostly the uh, sand green 1x2 plates that I had to ask them about, hey, I didn't find these on the wall, and they said, oh, we got them. They brought out one of the boxes from the back where they have parts stored, and I was able to work from there. Basically, this was a portion of the pick-a-brick cup that I got, like, as far as the total cost, you know? So, like, I tried to rebuild the one that was in the store, this is the thing, and um, that would just kind of sit right on top of what was in the pick-a-brick cup, which isn't that bad, because technically they are parts from it, that's what I'm building it for, no problem. So, as far as the model itself... It kind of gets the point across where you have the statue, a little bit of drapery here and there. You see the, the crown on the front, so it's nice and, and a thinner layer there. You have the torch actually lit there. I don't remember, but I think it was a small flame piece that was supposed to be there, but I don't remember how it was attached. I could be wrong. Could have been, uh, maybe it was like a one by one in trans uh, orange or something like that instead, perhaps. But it wasn't available, and it wasn't in the back, so I didn't use it. That's fine. I think it still looks good. Um, it is still basic for what it is because there were a limited amount of sand green pieces. It was basically the 1x2 plates, the 1x1 one one bricks, and the 1x1 one bricks with two studs on each side. So like on the, on the crown, if I move this off, I take that off, you can see what I mean. So it would have two studs on opposite sides. Most of these parts actually did come from a previous pick a model, which was based around, guess what? The Statue of Liberty. I may have put that on the wrong way, but whatever. That's fine. Um, I'll fix it later. <laughs> but, yeah, most of these were just extra parts from that pick a model that was no longer available at LEGO stores. I think New York still had it for some time in the Rockaway Center, or um, Rockefeller Center store. Um, but... A lot of other stores just kind of just threw them into cups, threw them into the wall, no big deal. That's fine. Also, the interior of this thing actually does have some pink, because the, at the time I was going, I was trying to get a lot of pink pieces for another mock, which you probably seen already, the Little Shop of Horrors vignette. Um, and it was just kind of filler for the base. Nothing big, no, no big deal for me personally, how that was built. I think there was also some substitutions in the base itself, where it was a lot more of the 1x4, 2x4 plates. I didn't have enough of those from the wall, so I just used a bunch of uh, 4x4s and 2x2x4s, and that did the job. Uh, that's what it really matters to me, is not all being 100% accurate. It gets the job done. I have already used it a couple times, just floating around the LEGO room. Hasn't really had a settlement yet. Um, the closest that it's had for settlement was either in my beach town, around my beach town, or next to the Ghostbusters that I got a while ago, a Ghostbusters HQ that I won from a LEGO Master Builder. You can check out that video at the end of the video, or in the description. And compared to a minifig, it's a nice little thing. It's still pretty big. It's 
still works very well. I think it's a it's a nice model, regardless of scale. Not really trying to fit it into something else, but still getting the point across. Thank you for watching this video. It took too long to talk about the Statue of Liberty that you can't even take apart. I will say though, some parts of it are pretty fragile because of the one by one basing, but they may do with it. And um, if you are curious as to how it's built. I will try my best to recreate it on LEGO Digital Designer and probably have that available on the interwebs. And we'll see you next time with more LEGO videos.